Hello, I'm Rubal Khan from KC Tech School, and the following video tutorials have been created to guide you to use VRVEX, a free virtual robotics programming platform created by VEX Robotics. Hello and welcome to tutorial 8. Alright, now just to recall what the task was, um, the task was to put the two of each colors in their respective zone, so two blue discs in the blue zone, two green discs in the green zone, and two red in the red zone, all right? Now, this is how you got the blue one, and we I went through this in the last challenge. All right, now, in order to get the green one, the green one's symmetric, right? I said it was symmetric about this line. So most of the movements, the distances remain the same, except the turning. So if you go here, so this turning, instead of left would be right, so I'm turning right, and then once I collect this piece and come back, once I reverse, I would need to turn right. So these are the two things that I've changed. Changed. This is the block where I'm collecting the green pieces. Again, that's repeated twice for both the green discs. Okay, one for the first one furthest, and one for the one that's nearer. So left becomes right, left becomes right. Okay. Last one, okay, is one where you see quite a bit of difference because this has to go here then go left and remember by this time the blue ones are already gone because the red ones are the last ones to be picked up so it goes here now how much do you go again a bit of trial and error I realized 500 mil mils would get me to the right distance so that when i turn okay when i turn right and then when i go forward i just about i'm just in line with these red discs and i need to go about 500 so that i don't go beyond the green because i don't want to be gra grabbing the green i just want to be grabbing the reds and then after that again you reverse you turn you reverse again you turn and you go towards your red no you don't go to you go towards your red you put it back and then you repeat the whole thing twice all right i'm not going to go through every single number and how i got that but again if you want to see what the blocks are this is the red you go up again this is for the green and this is for the blue all right let's try and see how this works out all right here i go okay so always pick the furthest one first again you got to have your velocity to maximum if not this is going to take time now it's going to pick the one that's nearer this other one's gone okay Going down, now it's going to be the next repeat block here. The furthest green is picked up first, and then turn in the opposite direction. Go back, repeat the same movement again. The one closest is being picked up now. And then drop to the far away green box here. And finally, the third loop is in action now. The furthest red will be picked up. Now this one's easier to drop because you don't need to turn this way. And then you go back again. Again, remember, it's, I'm just repeating the same thing. So it goes furthest and then it comes back. Okay. It's, it's it, All of them are repeats of two. All right. So this is done. Okay. It must have been quite a bit of work. Okay. But if you manage to get it done, really great job. This was not easy. Honestly, this was probably the toughest challenge that you had so far. All right. So well done. Okay. The next thing I'm going to look at is, I'm going to look at, let me just delete these things first. I'm going to look at how to create a function. Okay. Now, just to understand what a function is. All right. A function is a set of tasks that you need to carry out. So instead of writing scripts for all the different tasks, I can summarize that into a single task. For example, if, you, if, if I gave you a task, switch on your laptop. That might include a few steps, okay. Find the uh, power button, press the power button, make sure you turn your, make sure your screen, you adjust to an angle that you can see. And then after that, you gotta log on. So there's a few steps. And I can, I can actually define all those steps into a single step. I can co combine all those steps in a single step, okay, by calling it, by describing a function, okay. And that function has those few steps. And every time I call the function, it executes the steps that I need. So now I'm going to create a function using this grid. It's a number grid map. What I'm going to do is I'm going to 
use a function where I'm going to use a blue line to cross off three numbers. All right. So this robot is going to cross out three numbers. So one, two, three, and then I can I can call on that function anytime. Anytime I call on that function, it's going to drive forward and cross off three numbers. Okay. So let's see. Oh, let's see how this is done. Okay. So the first thing, go to my blocks. Okay. When you make a block, this is where you're actually making a function. Okay. So you you give it a name that defines what you're going to do that makes sense to you. Okay, so let, let me call it cross off three numbers in blue. It means blue ink. All right. So that's the name I'm giving it. Okay. Shift them a bit. Okay. So this is the name. I've given it a, given it a name, but I haven't actually defined it. So this is where you're going to define. You're going to add blocks to it. So what do I mean by cross off three numbers in blue? Okay, so so I want to move the pen down, obviously, because you got to you want to cross off. Move your pen down, and then you set your color to blue. Set color to blue, and then you need to drive forward, obviously, because you want to cross off. Your robot needs to move, and you got to move about 400 because one block is 200. And starting with the block you're on itself, that's good. that number is going to cross off, and then you move your pen back up, all right, to make sure it doesn't interfere with the next line of code. So every time I call, now I've got this function which is called cross off three numbers. Every time I call on that function, it's going to cross off three numbers, all right. Now, sorry, this always happens. So now. Let's try and run a simple program to show how this works. Okay, so I'm going to first turn right. So turn right for 90. Move this a bit. Okay, now this is the main program you're going to run. These functions will remain in the background. Okay, okay, so turn right for 90. And then I'm going to call on this function. So when I say call on the function, that means you're basically executing the function and all the code that's within the function. So I'm going to call on that cross off three numbers in blue so it's going to turn right cross off three numbers by going 400 mils and doing all that and then next i'm going to drive forward so i'm going to drive forward by drive forward another two another 400 mils all right and this time around I'm, going to, I'm not going to cross anything i'm just going to drive forward without crossing anything off and then i'm going to call on the function crossing off again and i can drive forward again quickly This time, let's drive off 200. And then finally, I'm going to call on the function. Cross out three numbers in blue. Let's see how this works out. All right. Ready? No more. Get set. Go. I should have set the speed for higher. The speed's too slow. But anyway, you see how this is going? Three numbers, one number spacing, three numbers, and then one number spacing because I've got that drive forward in the middle. Okay. So there you go. That's what happens. And that is the function. That is the function that is defined here. So the advantage of having a function, defining function, is that you don't need to write four lines of code every single time. You just need to write one, put in one block, one block, one block. So literally saving, instead of having four blocks, you're having one block. So you're saving three blocks, three times three is nine. And if you've got a long program, you might be able to save 15 to 20, li 20 lines of code or even more. So this is when you use functions. And many of the things that we did before, we could have used functions. Okay, but just that we haven't learned functions up, up to this lesson, all right? So now you know how to use functions, you should be able to write codes more easily and reduce your lines of code. Now, here is your task, all right? Your task now, and the challenge for this tutorial is basically to draw one line in blue and then the next line in red, okay? But, for example, you turn right, go straight, this whole line is in blue, and when you go from 10 to 20, you shouldn't be crossing off anything. There shouldn't be any line here. All right, so this is important. So all I need is blue, and then red from 20 to 11, and then blue, and then red, and then blue, red. As long as I have blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, all the way up to here, then you've basically nailed it. All right, so obviously you need functions. You need to define functions. You might need more than one. That's a clue you will definitely need a repeat loop, all right? All right, now all the best, and I shall see you in tutorial nine.
Thank you very much for listening.